Yo guys, it's Twitchblade, and today we are going to be reacting to a Minecraft movie trailer. I have seen it before, but I really wanted to talk about it of my genuine thoughts. Uh, I know other people's thoughts, but I'm just going to go over my thoughts in the video. Uh, so let's hit play. I'm going to watch it first, and then I will go over what I think. And I have seen this. Wait, there's more. <laughs> And that is the trailer. So let me go over it. So obviously blue never portal or blue aether portal, whatever, there's a blue portal, not in the game, so whatever. <laughs> right so let me go back, right? Uh, right look at this, look at like, Look how big this village is, bro. You've got houses over here that, yeah, look like houses, but, like, what are these things? They look very strange. Like, churches, maybe? Oh, no, they're windmills. So, you've got some windmills up in here. Never seen them before. They'd be cool. Farm, some houses. But look, like, even down there, look how big this village is. Like, it's a really good village. You've got, like, some sort of medieval castle up there. Some really cool terrain. So, I really do... I like... How this looks and look you can see some villagers down here um so yeah obviously you can see them kind of scattered about but not well not well so you know good this looks very um this is very promising for now now here like they this doesn't feel immersed like you can practically see a green screen bleed right there like, you can see it. You can see it. But if you gloss over that, you know, you've got a new, you know, you've got some nice little mountains, some lava. Don't know how that makes any sense because there's snow mountains. But something I've just noticed is look at this water. Why is it so realistic? That's what I don't like. How realistic everything looks. And you might be saying, well, does this tree look realistic? And no. But the realism is really weird. And having people in this, I don't think having people is too bad. Um, you can definitely tell it's bad, but I don't think they should have gone with such a realistic thing. I think it should have been a lot more animated because this you you it doesn't feel like you're actually in it. You know, this doesn't. I mean, maybe it's your brain doesn't fit. I love the clouds though; it's very blocky. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the art style is meh, it's okay, um, but I don't think they should have gone with such realism, because like here, look, you've got like your grass here, but then you've got like the tall grass, and it just really doesn't fit in. Um, but yeah, let's continue. Also, I love the music for this trailer, I think the music is very, very good. Again, the background here just looks amazing, so yeah, let's continue. Here, right, I've got something to say. This doesn't show it that well, so let me go back. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, no, it's not in this shot. Here, it's in this shot. Why on earth do we have such a realistic tree? Look, I like the little log thingy here. 
But what are these little branches? We don't have them in Minecraft. So it's already taken the Minecraft aspect of it. And honestly, this does just look like a shader pack as well. This is not good. Like, this is... Why do we have a realistic tree here? You can tell it's supposed to be Minecrafty, But why do we have branches? Just keep the plain log, right? So, you know, there's also a very weird lighting on the back of this woman's head. It's on most of the characters in the trailer, uh, which I noticed. So the lighting in this film isn't that great. Um... And you can see that a lot, like, look at them. Like, that's a lot of light. So let's continue. Here you can also see the light as well. But, uh, you know, it's on, so if you guys just look at the, you know, if you look at the hair on most characters, um, you can see um, that, <laughs> the face. <laughs> you can see the light on the back of the hair. So basically I'm not going to mention it all the time. And that, well, I, I, don't, I don't think I have to say anything, I think it speaks for itself. Okay, I get that you're going for the realistic tone, which is so questionable, right? Like, look at this flower, right? Then you pan up, and you got that. Like, what the hell? And, you know, like, what, so you got a realistic one and a fake one? Like, look, you have a yellow flower there, and a purple one, right? And you come over there, they look, no, they don't look the same. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this abomination, this sheep. Okay, I know that you're going for the realistic design. I've already said that. But what is that? Bro, that's something I see in my nightmares. It looks good, but why give it teeth, right? I mean, there's not a lot you can go off by this, and I know. But this is not it. I don't know what, you know, could look better. But this is not it. And I'm going to point something out as well. You see on the other people, there's a lot of light on the back of the head. There's nothing with the sheep. It's perfect with the sheep because it's obviously CJ. But this sheep, I don't know what. It's just not. It's just not it. I remember looking at it for the first time, thinking, "What on earth is that?" Generally, scary. All right, that is something I see in my nightmares. And that is the reaction I would have as well. But look at these trees again, bro. You can see the branches, bro. Okay, I'm okay with this tree with the little bits coming off. Alright, but no branches, bro. The branches are weird. And these guys don't even look like Minecraft characters. I guess they were sucked in from the real world. I guess that's something to do with the blue portal. This year. So, I, re I really like uh, the the piglins. Um, really good. Uh, I like how they've kind of forced... The gas. I don't know why this one looks so sad to be in. Maybe they're being tortured. I don't know. But you know, they all look good. Uh, I think I think the piglins look mm, alright. I like the drama idea. Uh, you know, I wish you could do this with real gas. Um, bit creepy, like I say. A lot of the mobs and animals are a bit creepy in this. I don't have much to say about this. You can see it's uh, still in, like, the village part, because you can see that mountain there. Um, but, yeah, I don't really have anything to really say. I mean, you can't do this in the game, but this ain't supposed to be accurate to the game which we've seen. Holding the spear as well, that's quite interesting. But, yeah, I don't really have anything to say off this, to be fair. Uh, so, yeah. I love that shot with the with the wolf. Um, I'm not done, though. There's no point. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I really, yeah, I like it. I do, I do like this scene. It's uh very nice. I do like it. The only thing is, is that the moon is moving fast. But I mean, I doubt they're gonna do like ten minute days and nights or however long they are, fifteen minute maybe, ten or fifteen minute. Um, but I don't think the moon's gonna move that fast. So that's the that's the only thing I got wrong with this. Really, don't know why the dog's got like a or wolf has got like a bold bit. But apart from that. Yep, this is normal. There's another really weird thing there. Looks like a fidget spinner. Uh, but yeah, let's continue. There's also, I've also just noticed, is that there is, uh, it's probably a flower, actually. So crafting, obviously, is big. Uh, you have to do, if you go by the one meter thing, obviously, crafting very small, and then I guess you craft double buckets. That's why you'd need them to kill piglins, but... Alright, uh, this scene does a lot, so you've got a weird sword that you can barely make out, like, very small TNT, 
Um, look like a diamond helmet. Yeah, that's a diamond helmet. But uh, em- what the hell was that? Don't know. Something green. Fireworks, potions. Yeah, kind of a lot. And again, like they're indoors. I know. I know. I said I won't mention it a lot, but look, they're indoors. All right, and you can see the the light. Like, it's weird. And there is a window. You can see the light sources over there. Oh, look, an energy chest. It's not bad, to be fair. And there's, uh, obviously, Steve as well. Steve. I like the chandeliers. That's pretty cool. Apart from this year, i got nothing to say. Apart from the light. Like, you can see it. The light would never be able to hit him. Light doesn't bend like that. I know it likes to bend, but it doesn't bend like that. I mean, there's even light on the side of his beard. And we, we know there's no light from here. Alright, this, this girl over here's got no light, so. Don't know. So, obviously, that scene, um, let me just go back, this is the most viewed scene, actually. So, this scene, obviously, is just the village, uh, I pointed it out. So, yeah, I don't really have anything to say, you can see the villagers here as well, let's see how they move. Oh, they're just running, oh, they're gonna be normal people, aren't they? And, like, again, look at this scene as well, which I didn't even need to pause, right? Why is it so small? How are you supposed to build with that? Like, it just doesn't add up. So, let's move on. And, and, huh, this, this, why is he holding a stick? Why is he holding a stick? You're telling me this is all, look how he's holding it. You're not going to enhance it inside? Look, he's holding it with two fingers. Calling that a goddamn thing. And where's the other sticks as well? I know he's like the leader, but that is just a bit more. Steve's lava chicken? Well, that's not great. Uh, what's this one say? Oh, you can't read it. But yeah. Oh, oh, no, there is another sword. It looks even smaller. But, yeah, that's the only thing I've got to say about that. But the sword is, um, definitely something. Furry creeper. What were they going with on this? A creeper's not furry. <sighs> My God. And still, it's night time, but yet you still have the light of the moon. It's not that right. Just a furry creeper. Like, why? I love this scene. Uh, I love this. This I guess is the never. Very, very cool. Uh, nothing to say, really. Everything looks good. Maybe the fire looks realistic. Don't think they should have done that. I'm not sure what this film was going for with realism and cartoony or Minecraft, should I say, looks. I think it took the real... I feel like there's no 50-50. They went mobs. Everything CG should be, like, fake. Alright, should look blocky, but then everything that's real, or like, like the people and that, it should all be real. So, yeah, I don't know, I feel like if there was a dial, there was no 50-50, it's basically mostly realism. But, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this scene shows it, shows it pretty perfectly. And, Steve, I mean, why? Right, look, it's just Jack Black in a blue shirt. Like, what, what are you doing? This is, like, is this the best you could do? Bros, like, Steve doesn't have a beard this big. Just shave it, would you? Like, y you know, I get he's supposed to look a bit beaten up. But come on, there was no effort here. He looks nothing like him. Shave him a bit. Like, you know, maybe if he was shaved a bit and he looked a bit more, not tidier, but... You know, something just a bit that looks like... Because Steve's beard is legit just a, like a U, basically. If you look at it, it's a U. This, he doesn't have a moustache or anything. And then, like... I feel like if he, if, I feel like if he didn't say it, I reckon some people would know. But I think if it weren't official, people would just think he's another character. But I don't know. Again, you've got the really, really realistic logs. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, this shows it. Like, why is it so realistic, bro? This is just not right. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay. I love that, oh, well, I like that they kept, you know, the Minecraft logo i like that they did that i like that they didn't change anything if anything they made it look a bit more realistic but i'm totally fine with that there's no big change 
definitely have to do a bit of Minecraft movie. Maybe they'll make more. I don't know. Let's see how the actual film is first. Let's move on. And this is my favourite part of the trailer, alright? Yes. Yes, this is a bit of a, you know, it's a mob. It's not right. But we've already discussed that. They look a bit weird. Alright, but this is the best bit. But before we watch it, look, you can see the houses and everything. It looks pretty good. And it looks like most of the film or trailer shit. Yeah, most of the trailer was filmed in one place. So I hope that the that the first, like, 30 minutes of the film. I'm guessing the film's going to be like an hour and 30. So probably, mm, maybe an hour. I hope it's not just all set in this village. Because that would really be lazy. But I hope what this film does do. I highly doubt it. But I hope it gives like like Mojang, 4J, whoever made Minecraft. I hope it kind of inspires them to do, not this art style, but definitely maybe some more villager houses. You know, a windmill. Uh, see a chimney over here. Just to, just to, not to make it more realistic, but just a bit more to a village. I don't think they need more, but I think just a, a few extra bits would be cool. And even just a windmill by itself. Wouldn't be that big of a, it wouldn't be like, oh my god, there's a windmill. And I don't think they would get that much hate if they did it right. So yeah, I definitely think they should maybe take some inspiration. But yeah, let's watch this, you know, the best bit of the trailer. Yes, just look at his face. So funny. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't really get this scene. I don't see the point of it. Maybe they did take over in the end. Which might mean there might be a part two. But, yeah. And then the way he just snaps back. And, yeah, Fort April, which is in... What's... Yeah, seven months? Yeah. What are we in? Sept what's the date today? September 11th. Oh, Memorial Day. Um... So, what, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Yes, a month. So, I guess that's not too long. It does say Mojang Studios are in it with IMAX Warner Bros. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about the trailer. Um, I just hope the film's better, but I don't think it was too bad, the trailer. I think they did an okay job. I, I did... Most of it is nitpicks, alright, I just think there is a bit more of a of a change, definitely the change is going to be needed, um, but apart from that, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's a, it's not a good trailer, it's not one of the best, it's been a high anticipated trailer, but I think we've been kind of been let down a bit here. So that's all I'm going to say. I have nothing else to say. I've reacted to it. It took me 17 minutes. Apparently 16 minutes. Because the trailer is an hour and 20. So. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to thank you guys um, very much for watching. And I will see you all. In the next video. So yeah. 4th of April. So yeah. I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all later.